Newspapers mocked Tutsis in malicious cartoons. In 1990, the overtly racist newspaper Kangura published the Hutu Ten Commandments, a manifesto defining rules of conduct between Hutus Hutu and Tutsis. Marry the Tutsi woman, befriend the Tutsi, employ the Tutsi woman, shall be considered a traitor. The Hutu should stop having mercy on the Tutsi. Quasi-religious sermons turned to thinly veiled threats. In 1992, Leon Mugesera, a high-ranking party official, delivered an inflammatory warning to Tutsis. Leon basically said the Tutsi were an impurity. They had come from elsewhere. They had come from Ethiopia and they must go back to Ethiopia. And they must go back to Ethiopia not as living Tutsi, but as dead Tutsi. Extremist supported RTLM radio became the voice of the vitriolic hate. The enemy was dehumanized, called snakes and cockroaches. <laughs> The radio station was a brilliant instrument of propaganda. First thing they did is they played rock music and good music that enticed people to listen to it. The voice of the radio was nearly the voice of God uh, because that was the only means of communications that, that, that they had. It was a very interactive radio. People used to call them, uh, talk with them, you know, they, they used to come and it, it was direct, you know, it, 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 it was always like improvisation. Tutsi men, women and children were subjected to daily insults and threats. Soon the Interahamwe militia began to conduct military exercises openly. The warning signs could not have been clearer. 